ISTQB Foundation Level Question 27. In the context of testing and debugging, what is the primary purpose of confirmation testing? A. To trigger failures caused by defects in the software. B. To find defects directly in the test object through static testing. C. To analyze and eliminate causes of failures identified during dynamic testing. D. To check whether the fixed resolved the problems after debugging. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is D. To check whether the fixed resolved the problems after debugging. According to ISTQB syllabus and ISTQB glossary. We will see quotes for this in the last part of this video. But this answer based on understanding that confirmation testing is retesting to check if the bug or failure has been fixed after debugging. Let's see why the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is incorrect because triggering failures caused by defects in the software is the primary objective of dynamic testing, not confirmation testing. K point is trigger failures. Answer B is incorrect. Finding defects directly in the test object through static testing is the primary objective of static testing, not confirmation testing. K point is static testing. Answer C is incorrect because analyze and eliminate causes of failures identified during dynamic testing is the primary objective of the debugging process, not confirmation testing. K point is debugging. Word debugging should not confuse you. You have to distinctly understand the differences between debugging, static testing, dynamic testing, and confirmation testing. Explanation Firstly, let's look in the ICQB glossary definition. Confirmation testing is a type of change-related test performed after fixing a defect this is debugging to confirm that a failure caused by the defect doesn't reoccur. Secondly, let's look at the section 1.1.2 Testing and Debugging in the ICQB syllabus, where we can see the following statement. Subsequent confirmation testing checks whether the fixes resolve the problem. You should clearly understand what it is confirmation testing. I do think that you are an extremely talented person and figure out all the ISTQB questions on my video channel. And then, passing the Certified Tester Foundation level exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up!